Welcome to your first transmission and download from the nine divas of atomic fire, crystalline atomic fire. Below, you will read the Genesis, a concise and brief interpretation of the beginning of creation from the serene viewpoint of the devas. Then you will find the pyramidal spirals, which will repeat the information you just read. Notice that the first spiral starts at the left top corner, and there is a hand with an index finger letting you know that is the beginning. The second spiral starts at the center and the hand with the index finger sticking out will point you to the beginning. At the beginning, it could be confusing since you will find signs like, etc., going up or down in between words. Also remember that we use he, she, or he and she, and when you read this, when going up or down, it is challenging. This book may seem difficult to understand in the beginning, especially if the reader does not have a background on physics or biology. However, the spirals and the complicated sentences are designed to abruptly stop the wondering mind. The sentences resemble the idea of a Zen con which are short, nonsensical paragraphs designed to stop the thinking process. A famous koan, for instance, is, listen to the sound of one hand clapping. It is said that if the meditation practitioner tries to decipher this koan, the mind at some point will collapse altogether, leaving him, her, in a state of perfect union and illumination. The spirals and the complicated configuration of this book have the same purpose, that of annihilating the ego mind and simultaneously changing the configuration of the three bodies, ensuring thus a rapid progression of human and spiritual evolution. Some people will feel one or many of these sensations and feelings like emptiness, cessation of thought, a sense of well being, tired or energized, anxiety, headaches, peace, love, tingling heat, insomnia, elated bliss ecstasies and some people won't feel much. In any case, the enhancement will still be working in subtle gray unconscious areas. If you are one of the few that do not feel much, do not worry. You are still being reconnected to the astral and causal realms. And after this reconnection takes place, you will undoubtedly, according to them, begin to feel. Also know that this is a book you can read several times. Do not worry if you cannot repeat the mantras with perfect pronunciation. This is not necessary. There is a lot of compassion transmitted in this book and faith is all you really need when doing so. You do not need to be young since changes happen first in the astral body and that is all you need to cross the portal of physical death. Evolution of the human body will take care of itself in this planet. While you read their spiral magic, the devas will join you. I wish you well, my friend. The dream of transmigration. The dream of transmigration is profound and complex. In it, you forget who you really are. Through this multiplicity of so many transcendental states, you have divided into many sparks with individual consciousness, and you have forgotten your real nature. We are the dream that appeared as an act of magic that has the solemn purpose of awakening you. It is a glorious day when in small oscillating parts of the dream of infinite immensity, you, the dream personage, realize and know that you have been blindly following a forged mental conception, only a figment of a virtual imagination that lacks any real foundation. The individual mind turns and looks at itself as an astral projection or just a hologram. 
preconceived by the source of radiant essence. In this instant, something we know as grace happened. The source floods the mind with dazzling light and destroys the coverings of psychological eyeness. Once this divine grace has done its job, the individual being identifies itself with absolute consciousness and becomes an extent expanded multidimensional being and soon thereafter also transcends the dream of multidimensionality and becomes forever free. The source of radiant light and absolute consciousness. It is important to state that even though the source of radiant light is part of the multidimensional dream, she is always conscious and she is also nothing more and nothing less than the absolute consciousness. If there is an almighty, omniscient, and omnipresent God that can be perceived in all dimensions and that sends its messiahs, avatars, and light emissaries to awaken absolute consciousness inside its own dream, it is this, the source of radiant essence. The source of all light is part of the dream that awakens even those who are most asleep. If you are reading this, we have no doubt whatsoever that your time has arrived and that your awakening is imminent. Know then that God exists on this multidimensional dream and that she is as real or unreal as you are. Understand that you don't exist as an individual, that individuality is false and that you are expansive and marvelous. Keep this in mind while you read these dreamed words, which have the solemn purpose of stimulating your awakening. It has already been stated that everything you see, feel, smell, taste, and hear is part of an imagined dream. Even though whatever is right in front of you may appear to be completely real, it does not exist. It's all simply a fragment of the collective imagination of expansive awareness. You are part of this awareness. You are this consciousness. This is your dream. And there is nothing that exists without this magnanimous imagination. Thus said, even the whole universe is false. A great part of the energy of this universe corresponds to material representations that are constituted by particles with no apparent mass. Thought particles and reality. To mention an example, according to earthly science, electromagnetic radiation, light, and other elements are formed by photons without any mass of their own. In the same way, the graviton, the fermion, the supersymmetric boson partner to a photon, and gravitino, the supersymmetric partner of the graviton, constitute universal energies despite the fact that they lack any mass. Although these particles seem to exist, they do not. You are actually surrounded by empty space with a holograph of superimposed dimensions and parallel universes. As stated before, this book will awaken first the causal body, which is a powerful dormant encasement of the soul that becomes active at the time of death. In order to awaken this body before dying, the multiple representations of the self that symbolize diverse volitional inclination that take the psyche on its wild ride have to be erased by the source. There are numerous personalities and therefore numerous wills within your enclosed individual consciousness. These are in a constant struggle against themselves and that is exactly why you cannot advance. Intellectually, you do not have any independent autonomy from the whole. However, when you awaken your causal body, you are the master of your will. The astral body, which acts as an intermediate an intermediate between the encasement of the intelligent soul, the causal body, and the physical body will be refurbished. This subtle encasement encompassed of vortices of deep transcendental energy and thousands of hollow meridians of delicate fabric is used for the spiritual projection of the soul into a universe of ecstatic feelings. Even though most of the emotions are kept in the physical body, the astral body also transmits at times emotions that have stayed in the vortices, resulting from cleansing the physical body of emotional turmoil. The procedures used here will cleanse the vortices in this realm. This in turn will have a drastic impact on human physiology. With time, our work will touch the foundations within the human physical body, 
and change information codes and corporeal biochemical constructions. To understand the nature of this transformation, it's always good to remember that matter in itself is as hollow as the graviton or photino. In higher planes, what humans call matter is completely non-existent and irrelevant. Our main purpose is to activate and deactivate certain energetic patterns and conceptual information. In the dimension humans inhabit, there are no physical laws, only mental laws. Atomic and molecular combinations hold within them the mystery of the void, the mystery they dreamed. These particles don't really exist. What lies behind these mysteries is mental, astral, causal, and other types of more purified information not understood by the human brain. In the individual's dream, mental laws prevail. One may experience gravity, walls, other objects, but these are no more than mental constructions. In reality, we remain as if sleeping in bed, dreaming, and what we experience is nothing more than spontaneous imagination, a trance-like state. If you look for molecules, atoms, and so forth in your individualized dream, you will definitely find them. That does not mean that they are real and that now you have proof your evidence will last as long as your dream lasts. Reader, you read these words not to understand three-dimensional dream collective chemistry or physics. These are merely employed to manipulate conceptualized energies that are at the root of all existence and form a medium for the manifestation of the human body. Amidst countless other visions and forms, we will rearrange, clean, and refine this thinking energy so that the human being may understand that his or her life is a dream and nothing more than that. Read. Open your heart and allow the change brought by love and eternal peace to embrace you.